Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to part one of my Isotope Ozone 7 series. Ozone is a great suite of plugins for mastering, but it's also very useful for bus processing, and even has some uses for individual track processing. This video is just an introduction to the basics of working with the Ozone plugin, but in this series I'll do a tutorial for each of the modules within the Ozone 7 plugin, and while doing that we'll do some bus processing and master this song. The song is called Setting Fire by Mayday Children, and if you'd like to follow along, or even if you just want some more multi-track material to practice mixing and mastering with, the multi-track logic session is available for purchase and download. I'll make sure to put a link to it in the video description below. All of the individual tracks have been mixed in this session, and all of the instruments have already been grouped to mix buses. So we have all the drums, all the acoustic guitars, all the electric guitars, all the vocals, the bass guitar and the guitar solo, and then we have some reverbs and an ensemble effect for the vocals. By the way, the entire session has been mixed with just stock Logic plugins at this point, and there's no software instruments either, so if you're working with Logic Pro 10, you shouldn't have any problem with getting the session to work, regardless of what version of Logic 10 you're working with. If you'd like to work along with a different DAW, I've included the raw, unmixed stems in the download as well, but you'll have to do a mix of the song yourself to get to this point. So we're not going to mess with the individual tracks too much in this series, but rather apply some bus processing with Ozone to the mix buses, and then apply mastering to the master output. Ozone is available as a plugin that you can use as an insert in your DAW, but also works as a standalone program. So later on we'll discuss how to use it as a standalone as well. Alright, so let's load up Ozone on my stereo out track, just so I can show you the basics of how to navigate around the plugin. You'll notice that you can load up each of the 10 individual modules within Ozone, or load up the entire Ozone plugin. We're going to load up the entire plugin every time we use it, because when you do so, you can add multiple modules within that single instance of Ozone. When you load it up, you'll normally see the Ozone dialog, and then the Presets Manager dialog. If you don't want to see the presets every time you load it up, just uncheck the Show at Startup box here. Let's load up a preset. Let's go to Genre Specific and then choose Gentle Rock. If you close out the Preset Manager, you can get back to it by clicking on the magnifying glass here, or click on the name of the preset itself. So you can see it's loaded up four modules within the plugin. You can click the Bypass button here to bypass the entire Ozone plugin to AB the signal with and without Ozone's modules in. So that sounds like there's a big improvement to the tone of the song with just that one preset. However, one of the big issues when mixing and mastering is that sometimes we misconstrue loudness for tonal changes or improved sound. Ozone can automatically match the gain of the signal when bypassed so that you can hear the before and after at a closer volume level. You can turn this on by clicking the ear icon right here. Let's give this a listen and I'll A-B the signal like before. We can hear that the processing is still giving the song a bit of a lift, but not quite as much as we perceived with this feature off. With this feature on, as you can see, sometimes the gain change when bypassed causes the output to clip, but since it's just the bypass signal that's clipping, it's not really a big deal. You can adjust the input and output gain levels, and double click on the faders to set them back to unity. You can also adjust the scale of the meters here as well, by clicking on the minus and plus signs down here. You can link and unlink the left and right channels by clicking on the lock icon. If you have a signal that's a bit off kilter balance wise, you can unlink the channels and adjust either the left or right individually. You can also click up here to switch between stereo and mid-side meter views. Mid-side metering is very valuable here because many of the ozone modules allow for both stereo and mid-side processing, and we'll definitely be taking advantage of that. You can click the mono button to listen to your master with the left and right channel sum to mono to check your mono compatibility, 
and you can also swap the left and right channels. So let's say that we like this setting, but we want to tweak a few features and we want to save this as a new preset. We can also add additional modules as well. So after adding a new module and tweaking the settings, you can click the magnifying glass again to open the preset manager and click the add button to add a new preset. I'll call this gentle rock spread since we added the imager to it. Now our preset is saved and we can access it anytime we want. You can also remove modules from ozone by clicking the X in the upper left corner of each module. So this has just been an introduction and overview of the basics in Ozone. In the next video, I'll do a full tutorial of the Equalizer module in Ozone. I'll end the video with a full playthrough of the song, as is, with Ozone off the master stereo output. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.